So I don't have much to talk about this week because all I've been doing really is YouTube stuff and if you guys want to watch them, you can find them because I talk about it on Twitter and everything. But I wanted to share with you guys something that I found. I went to my friend Josh's house and he was playing drums with my friend Chris and they were, he was playing the guitar so I didn't have anything to do. So I was on the couch and I looked at the, um, the coffee table reads that they have, you know, the big books that people have that are artsy and stuff, and there was this book called Drops Like Stars by Rob Bell, and it was a retrospective into his life, kind of, and then, like, comparing it how, about how other people thought, and I know other people have done these things, but it really made sense to me. And there was a really cool layout to this book. I mean, it was big and everything, but there were some pages that had plenty in it, but then there was some that only had a few words, and... Uh, there was one page that said, like you meant it, and then underneath it, it would say, um, or it said, wouldn't that be a great life mantra? And that kind of spoke to me, and, but that wasn't really what I want to talk about. There is a quote by A.J. Herschel that I'd never heard before, but it's on the book, and I wanted to read it to you guys. I have it on my phone. I took it as a picture because I didn't want to remember it, or I wanted to remember it. It says... Above all, remember that the meaning of life is to live it as if it were a work of art. You are not a machine. So you remember a couple of videos back in the fall where I would talk about how I felt like a machine. Like I used those exact words. And I like kept using them and I didn't know how to remedy it. And then I realized it was because I was focusing too much on the future. Some vlog tag viewers don't know it, but we're all going through some big changes in our lives. We have a newlywed couple that's newlywed. We have a man who's about to have a baby. That's a big thing. We have people that are finishing college this semester and having people that are starting to think about their careers and their futures and how we're supposed to, you know, to fix our lives in the present so how we can have a good life in the future. With all this talk, it seems like a lot of us have been focusing a lot on the future. I know personally my main goal has been to get as much experience as I can to find an awesome job for the future and not have to worry about financial instability and all that stuff, but then I'm 20 years old and I'm not living. You know, I really wanted to say more to that so it didn't sound like I'm a hippie talking, but, or, or some kind of introspective nerd, philosophical nerd kind of thing, but that's really what I have not been doing. Okay, so we're going to start having challenges? Okay, I challenge every single one of you to do something impulsive. You won't know when this impulse will happen, because you, if, you, if you plan to be impulsive, it's, that's not really the point. But um, when you have an impulse to do something, don't say no to yourself. Don't think yourself out of it. Just do it, bring your camera, and let's see it. I'm done. Tag Bobby, you're it.